first round of the draft, Desmond Bain, a smooth off guard with good size at 6'6". He shot 40% plus from three each of the last three seasons at TCU. And Xavier Tillman Sr., a Draymond Green-esque defender for Michigan State. That's Tom Izzo's evaluation, not mine. Uh, there's also a lot to like 3D about some of the uh, the old returning faces, including Brandon Clark, who joined Morant on the all-rookie first team last season. What's next for him? Well, to continue to work on his offensive game, because one thing we learned about, he's very athletic and he got a lot of alley-oop dunks around the basket. Now, can you get more pick and pops and knock down that mid-range shot? Matt, we see a lot of our stretch four shoot in the NBA today. If he can add that to the game, all these highlights, watch your head, people, because we know he will dunk on your head. Now we know defense will rotate to that, Matt, and slow that down some. Now do you fade a little bit to that wing area, a little gray area, knock down that 10 and 15 foot jump shot, add that to your game. You're already a solid rebounder and a solid defender. I think he showed a little more all-around game than maybe people even expected coming out of college. D'Anthony Melton had a good offseason as well. The former second-round pick cashed in with a new four-year deal worth nearly $35 million. How does he fit in moving forward with this young group? Well, I think he's going to be very vital early on, Matt, because with all the injuries, you know, Winslow and, and J.J., until they get healthy, you look for Melton to come in and be that Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife, to your point, Matt, playing good defense, uh, a, a rangy shooting mat where the numbers don't fall, come off the chart again, but he does knock down a timely three. But I think more importantly, he brings that toughness every night. And I think that's what Coach Jenkins believes in. Well, the Grizzlies get going on Wednesday, December 23rd against the San Antonio Spurs. Martin Luther King Day, always a big part of their schedule as well. On January 18th, they'll take on Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns. Play NBA Pick'em team win totals to predict whether the Grizzlies will go over or under the projected win total for the season. You can play at NBA.com slash Pick'em in 3D. The number for you is 30, over or under 30 wins this season. And a 72-win season, by the way. I got to point that out. Ooh, oh, great point. Before you said that, I was going to automatically say over, but I believe in John Morant. And more importantly, I believe in Coach Jenkins that an unknown coach comes into – uh, a great situation and got the ears of those young guys and has them playing hard. So I'm going to say just a little bit over and say 32. All right, here's the big question. The Grizzlies last made the postseason in 2017. How do they factor in this year? you got to factor in who's gotten better, who's gotten worse in the West, but it's still tough to crack that top eight. Yeah, it's going to be tough to uh, crack that top eight, Matt. I, I think they'll a battle for it, but I'm not sure if they're – with the way their health is, if they can get healthy fast enough, then maybe they peek through the window and sneak in there for a playoff bid. Maybe so. Maybe they're, they're playing the long game in Memphis for yes, sure as these yes. young players get better and better. Eventually, they hope that leads them to the postseason, whether it's 2021 or not. Time will tell.